I thought I turned it off. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Carroll is our client. She has a lovely home. Mm -hmm. um, she wanted her kitchen redone um, and her master bathroom. This was the kitchen. Um, we thought that it was a very good area. She just wanted to update some of the cabinetry and flooring that she had, maybe change the cabinets around a little bit. She liked her appliances, they're new, so we wanted to keep those in mind. Um, and maybe take off this and, and elongate the window just so we can get a little bit more natural light in there. Another thing we wanted was to bring in a good amount of light because she has the big windows and the other window across from it. Um, yeah. Okay, these are just some more pictures. Um, she didn't really like her sink that much because um, she felt like she was leaning over doing some work. So we decided to maybe give her a new sink when it comes out a little bit further where she can stand at a comfortable distance when she's cleaning up. Um, she didn't have the edge of her countertops on here, so that's not what it looks like right now. <laughs> Actually, but they're, they're finished now. <laughs> oh, they are finished? Okay, yeah, she's <laughs> back in the pictures. But um, it's a laminate countertop. We were actually hoping to do like a stone or marble or granite, something a little bit more updated, um, a little bit nicer. Um, and she likes entertaining, uh, maybe only a couple times a year, but we want to keep that in mind um, so that there is a good open space and places to set up food for people to gather and stuff like that. So she liked this area, which is a good place to kind of separate the space and to display a few things and work also. <coughs> so her home is a very traditional feel. Um, we really wanted to incorporate that into the kitchen as well, just to update everything. She had some really cool, um, kind of an Asian oriental theme in her one of her uh, living spaces. So we wanted to maybe kind of pull a little bit of that in without going too crazy. Um, so and another thing is she has a lot of um, dishes and stuff like that, a lot that she's inherited too. So we wanted to make sure we gave her ample storage space and no glass cabinets. This I'm sure it could probably get a little bit cluttery. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the main thing I think that we and yes. these are just the ideas that when we went for the initial consultation, um, things that we talked about that we didn't want to bring in our presentation. So we just kind of put them down and put them into our designs so that we could get from there and get starting. Yeah. Um, so we also, this is again what we said, that we, things we wanted to add, we wanted to keep in that traditional feeling, a nice cherry wood finish for the cabinets, um, possibly some window seating. Um, and also a stone backsplash because that was one thing that she didn't have and thought would be a really good um, look in there for when guests do come over. Um, and these are some inspirations that we found online. Um, she, we wanted like a, a main backsplash over the um, <coughs> range area because that was the first thing you saw when you walked in. So we wanted that to kind of like really pop out at you. Um, so we thought about some good ideas for the backsplash, and that that was one thing we picked out for that. Um, and the some other things that we talked about was like the the pot filler that she liked when we went to the initial consultation, and for the hood over the stove, for that to blend into her kitchen, so the, with the decorative cabinets over that, and just make the whole kitchen a lot more updated, like we said earlier, and so these are just some things that we found that we thought could serve as good inspiration for different areas, not exactly for the whole kitchen to look exactly like it, but certain parts. Um, these are some lighting ideas we wanted to put. Um, she has a little breakfast nook area um, in front of the bay windows. We wanted to really accent that with a really nice chandelier type looking light fixture. Um, so these were some of the ideas that we thought that kept a traditional feel that brought attention to that area. And this is the first conceptual floor plan. Um, 
We mainly what we did is just added, added cabinetry space. Here we added, uh, there's a Lazy Susan on the bottom and then on the wall cabinets. We had a Lazy Susan there as well and on this corner, the floor cabinets and the wall cabinets, we also added a Lazy Susan because we, we knew that you had a lot of stuff and that was kind of wasted space before. So um, we kept your peninsula island here um, for entertaining purposes and brought in, um, we took out the top part that had the recessed lights and we put in two pendant lights um, just for a little bit more of a decorative feel. This big white circle is actually a chandelier <laughs> um, that we put in front of the breakfast nook table. Um, we added in a different sink, it's a little bit bigger but it comes out a little bit more. Um, we also elongated the window on that side to bring in some more light. Um, and I moved the fridge in this corner just because I was trying to follow the NKBA guidelines and um, the workspaces were getting too far apart with it where you had your fridge now. So instead of putting it here, I moved it over to that area um, and just added more cabin space here. And then I also added pantry right here. It's just a really tall and it, and it goes up almost to the ceiling. We moved that we elongated the cabinets as well because that was another thing she was wanting to do. Can we go to the next one? And this was the perspective, the first perspective. Um, the marble countertops, that was the first countertop, um, the black finish because she really liked that and the cherry finish on the cabinets was um, something she liked as well. This is, this is the pantry area, it's just a really tall, kind of narrow space, but because um, we didn't have too much room to work with, but we, we know that was one thing that you want to try to incorporate. And then we have the refrigerator over here, so you also have more counter space that way, and then the curved pencil counter space there as well. And your are wide racks right over there by the sink, we just need to go over there. Um, next one. And then this is the um, breakfast nook area. We um, like the glass table, we wanted to keep that, um, and we just thought of, of doing maybe a more decorative upholstered chair, and that was, those two examples we have right there are, are some that we thought you might like. Um, and you can see the pendant lights and the machine that we were there too, that was just an option. And we decided to keep the bay windows as bay windows in this concept, and just put a decorative um, curtain on top of that. And bring them down. So, yeah. Yeah, they are. I don't know if you can tell, but they are from all the way down. Mm -hmm. um, next and this was a second conceptual um, plan. We kept the fridge here just in case you weren't too keen on moving that over there, um, which didn't exactly follow the guidelines, but we knew that was something you were used to, so we wanted to make sure we could at least keep that that way. Um, we added a light into in front of the sink for a more decorative feel. We kept the pendant lights here, but added a bar seat. We could only fit two seats in there, um, but maybe just for you and your husband once your kids are out. Um, and then we left the table in there, um, and then just added a different chandelier. And we actually turned the large bay window into uh, <coughs> French doors, just in case when you did have guests over and wanted to move the table out, you could open it up and walk onto your patio that way. Um, I think that was the only thing we changed. Yeah. And so this is the angle. Um, we don't have a backsplash up there because I can't get it up there. <laughs> I can't get it to go up there. But um, this is where we moved the um, fridge in. And I know you also wanted to open up that space where the stairs were back towards the laundry room area. So we tried to make that bigger. Um, and then you can see the French doors on the end over there. And there's a, a wider looking chandelier, not so decorative. And then this is kind of the bar area where you can see some of these added different um, drapery styles. And we changed the countertop is a lighter one, which is the other one that we had. Is this, we kept the same finish on the, the cherry um, cabinet finish because we liked that one a lot. We knew that we did too. And then the, I don't know if you can see the floor in a little bit. She also wanted kind of um, a lighter hardwood flooring throughout the kitchen. Um, not necessarily like a blonde color, but kind of it's a little bit like brown. But um, something to continue throughout her house because that's what she had in her um, living spaces. And then this is the back. 
Um, so for the bathroom, some of the problems that we saw was that it's just, it. I don't think it's been changed since they moved in. So it's very I out. I haven't changed since it was built. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been, it's very outdated. So there's a lot of things that they would like to improve about their bathrooms. And we went through and again just kind of um, list all the things that we talked about in the initial meeting and things that she likes and things that she would like to change about her space. And this is um, one view of the current bathroom, but there's some more pictures. So this is um, so the doors over here, and you walk in, and this is the vanity that you see. And there's a shower in the corner, and then there's the little creamed in vanity, and then the bathtub, and then the toilets in the corner. So it's not a very big space. So one of the things we had to think about was maximizing the space that we did have, and especially since she did not want to leave any of the walls. So I'm trying to get from that. Um, so the, these are just some of our concept ideas. Again, to maximize space, accent the natural light since there's only one small window, but um, put in some more attractive light fixtures, open up the room, and then she has this window treatment fabric that she found already that she wants us to go off of that for the designs. Um, so that this is some inspiration that we found online, um, just some things that can make the room different, um, so some options. So you can add lighter cabinets with like near backgrounds make the room feel larger, or a freestanding tub, um, glass showers. The um, For the bathroom tower, she mentioned about um, a central tower on the counter that could add more storage space, and stone flooring, and then like power I thought would be good for storage or you know, for towels or whatever you want to put it in, and you can kind of under cabinet storage for the rest of it. And that would kind of help brighten up the space and simplify it, too, but also bring it into this century. Um, and then the tile flooring that you mentioned. And the, this is just the other view of it with the chandelier <coughs> and the window and the shower. And there, there's also shelving above the, the toilet, like we talked about in our console. Um, so there's more story for that. And the second option for the bathtub concept, um, without changing the location of uh, fixtures, we can use uh, more uh, modern fixtures, um, and we can use a combination uh, of the bathtub and the shower. It, uh, it extends the usable area. And um, the last shower, model, better. Um, and if you want, we can put a stick in it. If uh, we use combination laptop and shower, we can find it, uh, more space to, to put. And we, uh, this, yes, yes, yes. and these photographs are very similar with your better bedroom and. Uh, we can change uh, the side of the shower and um, marble that top and we can uh, extend the perspective of your laptop with mirror. It gives uh, more uh, space to us. And these are this photograph is for classical type of
examples for combination that I can show. There is the more electronic type and the more um, simple version. If you uh, want to use, you can choose one of them. He won't be in until we're going to take a break when we're done, and then he'll be in after that.
Space you wanted, if there was, that was something you wanted to sacrifice or something you wanted to add. So we can always take that out. Okay. Just leave it so the cabinets are in that wall. To the uh, yeah, that whoop back. <laughs> um, tell me about that middle tub and shower unit. Thing. Yeah, is that one piece or two pieces or just it's, one? It's one piece uh, in the bottom. It's the just one piece, but you can uh, open that one the door for the shower. And we can use it for that. It's, it's like a combination. Never, I've never seen one of those. She found a lot of really cool, like bath and shower combinations that aren't like what we typically like would think of here. 
but no, this is this very European looking. Yeah, they are <laughs> they're very cool. But, no, no, this this very European looking. <laughs> Concern here is you're walking right into the toilet. Uh, Cover for worse. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can get tucked over the other space. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm not. I'm not sure really in the plumbing situation in the bathroom or adjacent room. For your classmates' edification, there really isn't any way to expand that bathroom without it being hundred thousand dollars worth of major expense or of lifting a roof next to it and moving that closet or bumping it out somewhere. There's just nowhere to go with it, or either lose one bathroom next door, which would be the other upstairs bathroom. So, just in terms of appropriate investment for the resale value. Le leaving the four walls where they are is what, what we need to do, really. Um, well, you know, I've never thought about actually pumping that wall out and put building in a closet. You mean this one here where your bedroom closet is now? Yeah, and then build it out into the bedroom. I don't know whether that would look decent or not. It's different when you're looking at it up there than when you're in there going, okay, I gotta get to work. Yeah. We can consider that. Um, we can do that in another example for a thing if you want to look into what it would be like. Send it to you for the final presentation because that would give you so much more space to work with. Yeah. Um, give you all more space to work with. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that would be an option. Be one of those things that we've talked to my realtor about before I ever even considered making that kind of investment. Okay, color schemes? Um, this is the board right here. Great. Okay, so this is green for the basketball or? No, that's just, um, no, that's just like for, <laughs> for the board. Um, in the perspectives, it's shown there where kind of wanted to like high, highlight this so this would be like your your big well other than like the chandeliers so maybe make a touch together so just show like kind of softer walls and then that wallpaper um on a, behind the, the sink wall and then just for your cap or for your flooring you can do a tile we, we can go lighter than this or um, for like a stone like a lighter stone and then for your counters um I think I liked, I like this one better with your your face, but I don't know. I like that they're going for water, so I just don't know what's up for that thing. Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Cool. Very good.